Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys I'm gonna show you how to uh, install the JavaFX support or JavaFX tooling and runtime for Eclipse environment or integrated development environment. So the first thing that we're gonna need guys of course is Eclipse, uh, Eclipse IDE. So basically you have to go to www.eclipse.org so the link will be available in the description box below so you can go ahead and follow that link and download your correct version of Eclipse. So in the Eclipse.org website, you can go to download section and select the correct version of Eclipse that you want to download. So in my case, I am getting this Eclipse ID 2019-12 version and of course I'm using 64-bit version of operating system. So this is, uh, it says here that I have to download the 64-bit uh, version. Now, after installing the Eclipse, this will be the interface and welcome message for our um, Eclipse IDE. So you can have here or you can see here all the options. So, so for example, creating a new project, checking out, import existing project, launching the Eclipse marketplace and so on. But basically, the purpose of this uh, video is to install the JavaFX tooling and runtime for the Eclipse ID. So the first thing that we're going to need is go to help and then click on this option. Click or install new software. So basically, we, we will be presented with this installation uh, wizard. And then in here, we have like an option to add repository or yeah, like adding the JavaFX support for Eclipse. Now, there's an option here to add repositories. So all, you ha all we have to do is click on this. And then for the name of our repository, we will just have to type in E and then open close or open parenthesis and then FX and then close parenthesis and then clips. There you go. And then all you have to do, guys, is click or type in this particular link so I'm gonna placing it also in the description box and then you can copy and paste and this is for the location of our repository and then right after that click on this add button so we will be presented with this option the Eclipse install and single components and you can see here the option for Eclipse IDE and then basic converter CSS DSL FX graph, FXML, and more. So let's just install all these um, components. Okay. And then click on next. And then in here, uh, you can click on the particular component and you can see the details. But for now, let's just click on next. And of course, you have to accept the terms of license agreement. So you can maybe read this if you want. And then click on this, I accept the terms of license agreement. And then click on finish. Okay. So basically, guys, we just have to wait for a few seconds in order for the installation to complete. Okay. So it says here 32%. So I'm, maybe I'm just going to pause the recording. So there you go. Installation is complete. So restart your Eclipse IDE to apply the software update. So of course, restart now for the uh, changes to be reflected. So after restarting your Eclipse IDE, we will have to make some changes or final changes to our IDE or Eclipse IDE. So basically, if you try to create a new project right here, so file, new, and then other. And then click on the JavaFX option and of course the JavaFX project. Click on next and then you can name, actually you can name your project anything you want. So for example, PRJ and then hello FX, something like that. And then we can change the options here to use uh, execution environment. And there's also a bunch of options that we can use here. Uh, so for example, the dependencies, libraries, and more. So let's just going to leave that for now. And then next. And then the default package name is application. So let's just going to leave it for this particular example as application. And then finish. So basically, if you try to open up our project, which is the 
PRJ Hello FX. You can see we are getting a lot of errors here in our main that Java uh, file, which is we, we don't want that because we want our application to run, right? So basically what we can do is to configure our Eclipse IDE to work with this particular example or to work with our project. So what we can do is click on the window option and then preferences. So basically we're going to, we're going to add a new JRE for our application or for our Eclipse. So in here under preferences and then under Java and then install JRE right there. And then we can add a new um, JRE. So basically you have to click on this standard VM right there and click on next. And right here, we can specify the JRE home and name. But you don't want to use this directory option because it's, it's going to filter out the JDK option. So what we can do is go to our installation or local installation of our Java environment. So I'm just going to go over to the program files and then um, Java. Yeah, Java. And then I have here different versions like 1.8.0 underscore 111, 10.0 or something like that. So we can use whatever we want, but in this case, I'm just going to use the version 1.8.0 underscore 111. And open up that one and then copy the location. So click on that and copy. And then in here... Um, paste it the location so again don't use this directory option because it's gonna filter out the JDK option so you can't find the JDK version because it's gonna show only the JR, uh, JRE home so after that you can click on finish right there and instead of using the default one you can choose this version and apply that okay and then right there you can right in, uh, right below this install jre you can have the option the execution environments and so because we're using the version 1.8 you can click on that and there you go uh, there you go you can see the perfect match which is the version jdk 1.8.0 so click on that to enable this particular compatible jre and then apply and close so again in our project PRJ Hello FX, we don't want to touch this one right here. Let's just create a new one and then click on File and then New and then Other and then Java FX option and Project right there. And of course, it's going to specify the new execution environment JRE, which is 1.8. There you go. And we have to name our um, project as PRJ um, like hello world FX something like that and click on next and as I've said before you can change all the dependencies libraries and all these options right here but in our case let's just leave it for now and click on next you can change the package name uh, package name if you want and click on finish so for now, let's just going to delete this PRJ Hello Effects because we don't want to use this particular project. Okay, so now we have the brand new PRJ Hello World Effects application or project where we can see the different keywords for Java FX application. So actually in the, in the next few tutorial, we're going to discuss this. What are these options right here? But for now, let's just, uh, let's just try to run this project and make sure that our application is up and running. So there you go. We can see the window or current window of our uh, Java FX, Java FX application. So I think that's it for this particular video, guys. And if you're new here in our YouTube channel and you want content about programming, so basically we're uploading different, different tutorials for programming so as a, for example we're we're uploading content for java uh, java fx php 
different different technologies that you want okay so i am inviting you to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload so i think that's all guys and see you in the next video